hosts, the United States were runners-up in 2017, and chef to keep Robert Ridland has named a star-studded lineup, selecting three of the four riders that claimed World Equestrian Games gold in Tryon last year. This really is our A team. We went right straight down the ranking list, and uh, uh, we got a great uh, turnout. Now, as we all know, you don't win it on paper, so we've got to produce on the field. But uh, we're all pretty confident with the team that we have going in on Sunday. It was a, a great year for us last year, and obviously it culminated with a, with a great win. But you've really got to put that aside. Uh, and it's a new year and, and you're, you're always as good as, as, as you are today. And uh, so for us, it's a new year. We, we can't really uh, think about last year. Uh, I, I am confident though. I think we have a, a really good team here and there's a, a lot of enthusiasm in the air, in the air as how the year's gonna work out. From the time I was young and first sort of was introduced to show jumping, it was all about making the United States equestrian team, getting to wear the red coat and you know, be, be a part of something that's for your country. And uh, lucky for me, many decades later, I still feel the same way. To have the Nations Cup, first of all, here in Wellington for the first time um, in a long time, it's great and it's fun to be a part of a team, you know, home crowd. Last time we did that was in Triumph of the Way, so I'd like to have the same result this week. I love uh, riding for the, for the U.S. team. I think for BZ and I and Laura, it really has been a major part of our career and a, and a huge importance to ourselves, the people who help us and uh, our owners. Um, so very proud to, to get the opportunity to represent our country. I think we all work pretty well together at the top. Uh, you know, our home Nations Cup is always difficult because we have a lot of balls in the air here, particularly in Florida this time of the year. Uh, but we're lucky to be at this beautiful venue and looking forward to a great competition. The team aspect of it is what I've always felt. I mean, back when I, when I was a rider, to me, I think that's the ultimate in our sport. It, it's similar to how the golfers feel when they're doing the Ryder Cup. It's uh, it, typically we're in an individual sport, but for one time, uh, you know, the country gets to get together, teammates get together, and, and to me, I think it's the ultimate in our sport. This is looking like a clear for Laura Crowder and Kung Fu. It is, and that helps things because that keeps them on eight foot. A single pole would have put them behind Israel, and Israel would have moved up. At the moment, the USA are holding on tenaciously to their second place on a team total of eight. Well, now, a critical round because if this man can deliver a clear for the United States of America, he, of course, guarantees that they will finish no lower than second. But he piles the pressure on Mexico. If McLean is clear and Mexico have a pole, we have a jump off. No one has faced more pressure-filled situations for Team USA than McLean Ward. He is a true anchor rider. And this horse is one of the very best out there, I think, anywhere in the world. If they can jump like they did in round one, I think, oh, gosh. Well, how typical that it should be the Israeli fence that goes because that delivers second place to Israel. So four for McLean means it's 12 faults overall for the United States of America, dropping them one place. So Mexico are today's winners here of the Longines FEI Jumping Nations Cup of the United States of America. Israel with an historic podium finish in second place. The United States of America having to settle for third. And here are the standings. Mexico will take the full 100 points today. The United States of America with 80 and then Canada taking the points for third of the scoring teams here. You always want to win so uh, we're not too excited about not winning but honestly you know a podium finish though you know it was sort of spread out. We, we, had, we had our moments. Uh, uh, I, I think the main thing is how competitive the league is getting. I mean uh, Mexico winning is a phenomenal victory, but it's not a surprise. They, they beat us all in Dublin last year. They have a, a, a fabulous team, uh, and they had a great day. I mean, you know, I think we had a good day, uh, but you needed a great day.